Hi guys, welcome back to the Essex Fashion House channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Randy. On this channel, I talk about how to authenticate designer bags when buying secondhand, so you know what to look for if you want to buy a bag online, for example, and show you some of the most beautiful bags up close in detail. I also sell a lot of beautiful pre-authenticated designer bags that you can find in my shop. Now today I've got a video for you that I think will be very useful for many of you. So have you ever looked at the numbers inside your coach bag and wondered, what are these? What do they mean? What can I use them for? Can I actually use them to authenticate a bag? If the answer to any of those questions is yes, then keep watching. So this video is gonna focus entirely on coach serial numbers or style numbers, as they aren't actually serial numbers, but I will get into that. Serial numbers can be a really, really important part of authenticating designer bags. Brands give their bags an actual serial number where each bag has an individual number that you will only find in that specific bag. Not that model in general, but that specific bag. And lots of brands do this. Their bags have serial numbers. Coach used to give their bags serial numbers. They did that for a long, long time. In the 90s, that all changed. And they started doing a different set of numbers, which actually includes way more information. And in my opinion, is way more useful than just a serial number. So these are the points I'll cover in this video. Where to find this coach number? What does it mean? What does it mean if there is no coach number? How can this number help authenticate my coach bag? And what exceptions are there to look out for in the land of coach serial style number rules. So if there's one thing you know about authenticating coach bags, it is that there are always, always, always exceptions to the rules. So first of all, where do you find the style or serial number of a coach bag? Well, most likely you will find it on the coach creed patch. Now the coach creed is this little thing of text inside most coach bags that will read something about either the brand or the type of leather, sometimes even about the specific model. It used to be that this was stamped directly into the leather of the bag. This was done on the older models where they didn't have a lining per se. It was these were the unlined suede or leather interior bags. And then later on, it became a patch that is sewn into the bag. And you will find these in a lot of coach bags. There are exceptions where you don't have this Creed patch. They can look very different and they also have different fonts and different colors and different uh, wording on the patches as well. I'll show you a picture here of what a genuine Coach Creed patch can look like. And here's what it looked like when it was stamped directly into the bag rather than on a patch. And while in most cases you could find the style number on this Creed patch, there will be incidents where you'll find the Creed patch, but it will have no number on it. And the initial thought might be this bag is fake because it looks like there's no number at all, but usually it does actually have a number. It's just that from 2014 to 2016, there was a period where Coach decided it would be a good idea to take the style number off the Creed patch and instead of putting it there, putting it on a tiny little white tag that you will find usually inside the zip pocket inside of the bag. And it can be really hard to find. So like really dig into the corner because it's usually all the way down in the corner. It can be super hard to find. I'll put a picture on the screen to show you what it looks like. If you see a tag like this in your bag, it is most likely a bag from 2014 to 16. Now don't forget that there will be some overlap where there will be bags from 2014 that have the number on the Creed patch. There will also be bags from 2016 that have the number on the Creed patch. Now, next thing I'll bring up is that sometimes you also get a bag where you have no number on the Creed patch and you don't have a small white tag in the pocket. And you might think, oh no, this bag is fake. It does not have a number in it. Well, there are multiple reasons why this bag could not have a number. One, it could be that it's a fake. It's possible. It could also be that your bag is simply one of the few items where Coach just did not put the style number inside. There are definitely items like that. And like I said, there are a few items where Coach just doesn't put serial numbers inside of them or style numbers inside of them, especially with smaller items. Um, it doesn't mean that they're fake. It also doesn't mean that they don't have a style number. Usually they will still have a style number. It's just not in the actual item. If you have the original tag, you might be able to see what the style number is, or you can Google your bag and try to see if you can describe it and see if you can find the model and find out what the style number is if you want to. I'll put a few pictures on the screen here of a few items that I've owned that are genuine coach things, but that don't have uh, a style number in them at all. Another reason why your bag might not have a number inside of it is that it could be a sample bag. So these are usually produced uh, before the actual production of that model begins, and they might not even have assigned a style number to that style yet. Who knows why they do it the way they do, but often these bags that are made for like promotional shoots and press and to do stock photos with, uh, just don't have numbers inside of them because it was one of these sample bags. But I will touch a little bit more on that subject later in this video and just mention that you might also get a bag where you have a 
Creed where it looks like there was supposed to be a number at the bottom but where it's just blank instead. And when you see this, it is sometimes another sample bag or even a rare runway model where it was a model simply just made for the runway show and where the final model actually didn't end up looking like that. So you could sometimes have something very special. Sometimes you just have something that was the first ever made but it could also be something unique and special. Like I said, just because your bag doesn't have a number, it doesn't mean that it's not real. It could be that it isn't, but it's not a guaranteed sign that your bag isn't real. So don't fret if you can't find the number. Now let's get into the formats of these numbers because that has changed over time. So as opposed to a serial number, coach numbers actually give you a lot of information about the individual bag that they're in. And coach used to have serial numbers on their bags and in 1994, they changed to this new system. You actually get a lot of information out of these numbers, which I will tell you all about. And all you have to be aware of is that the format does change slightly over the years, but I will give you a whole overview of when it changed, what the formats were, so you can always decipher the meaning of the numbers in your bag. These numbers actually give you information about the time and place of manufacture of the bag and it also tells you what the style of the bag is. Now let me tell you what the different formats were. So in bags from 1994 to 2006, the format usually started out with a number, then a letter, and then another number. And the last number can be either one or two digits depending on the year. Then you have a dash, and followed by that, you'd have four numbers. Then in 2006, they changed the format. And so from 2006 until 2020, the format was a letter, four numbers, a dash, and then five numbers. Then in 2020, they had another change. And this is where it becomes a little bit complicated because they changed it not into just one new format, but into multiple versions of a new format. So the first part still consists of a letter and four numbers. Then you have a dash. And then after that, you still have some bags that come out with five numbers. You also have some that just have four numbers. Then you have some that only has three numbers. And then on top of that, you also have some that has a C in front of the number. And now I actually contacted Coach to ask them what this C meant, because I can tell you all about what all the other letters and numbers mean, but that C threw me off because I just couldn't find a reason for it. So when I contacted them, they gave me multiple different answers. First they said, well, the C is in front of every style that has the coach signature pattern or a C turn lock on it. And I said, well, that's not true because here's a Rogue 17 that's smooth leather with no C's, no coach signature anywhere. So then they changed their explanation to say, actually the C is on all the styles that are from the coach originals line. I didn't point it out three different models that are not from the originals lines and that also don't have the C on it or a coach signature pattern and that have a C in the style number. And so at the end of the day, I couldn't get a straight answer. It seems like their employees don't actually know what it means, which is fair enough. Why would they necessarily know that? Um, I wish someone did so they could tell me so I could tell you, but for now, we can only guess. I could imagine that perhaps it's a way of being able to reuse old style numbers where you used to have four digit style numbers and that you wanted to repurpose them. But of course you don't want to cre create confusion between different models of bags and therefore you added a C to make a new style number. I don't know that, that's just me guessing, but it's possible. So let me get to the most exciting and most important part of this video, of course. What do these numbers mean? So first of all, the first letter shows you the month the bag was produced in. The numbers after that show you the year it was produced, and then after that, the place it was produced. Then after the dash, you have the last numbers, and that number is the style number, the whole thing after the dash. Now let me explain a little bit closer so you know how to decipher this. So first of all, the letter that signifies the month. You have A for January, B for February, and so on and so on and so on. I'll put a little thing on the screen here to show you an overview. The only thing to look out for is the fact that they skip the letter I, most likely so it won't be confused with the number one. That means that the month of September gets the letter J rather than an I. And then after that, of course, it goes on with the next letters of the alphabet. But yeah, have a look at this overview because that makes it a little bit easier to remember. Now the following number, which can be either one or two digits depending on the format and the year of the bag, uh, tells you which year it was produced in, which is pretty simple and straightforward. Like if it says 21, that means it was produced in 2021. But it can get a little bit confusing when you're dealing with bags from the late 90s or early 2000s as when they started doing this style of numbers, in the 90s, started in 94. And all the bags produced in 94 from when they started doing this got the number four. And then 95 was five, 96, six, seven, eight, and so on. And then we got to the year 2000, which got the number zero. And then after the year 2000, 2001, 
they gave 2001 the number one, 2002 the number two, 2003 the number three. But then when we got to 2004, of course, four was already taken by 1994, so then they changed the format to put a zero in front of it. So that's when we started getting the two digits instead of the one digit. So instead of, of 2004 being a four, 2004 is 04. That's where it's a little bit confusing because three is 2003 and then 04 is 2004. I hope that makes sense. You can look at my little uh, thing here on the screen that will probably make it a little bit easier to understand. It's quite hard to explain with all these numbers. It's so confusing. I know how I am. I need to see it written down. So there you are. Now these numbers in front of the dash are specific to the individual bags. That doesn't mean that you can't have two bags that have the same numbers in front of the dash. Actually, you probably most likely will because obviously more of the same model are produced in the same time and place, you know, in that, well, yeah, the same time and place. And uh, therefore you will have some that have the same, but this part will not be the same in all bags of that specific model, color, and time. So this is more like a serial number than, than any part of the number, but it still isn't quite because it's not completely unique to that bag. I hope that makes sense. So let me just show you a few examples here just to make it a little bit clearer. We've got an example example here that's K8P-9870. Based on these rules that I just outlined for the numbers, we can see that this bag was produced in October 1998. And if we do this other example, you see the numbers in front of the dash read B1980. So B means that it was produced in February and 19 means that it was in 2019. And by the way, all of these little overviews that I've done, uh, shown you on here, I have all of these, they're saved on my, in my blog article about this as well that you can find on the Essex Fashion House website. So I will leave a link to that in the description below. You can go and save these for later or pin them to your Pinterest board or whatever. They're really good to have when you're first learning about the, these number systems. And if you're trying to authenticate a bag or trying to learn something about your bag, you can always go back and reference these little guides. Now, I don't think I forgot about the last part before the dash. The only reason I'm not talking much about it is because the only thing you know about this is that that is the place of manufacture. So this is like the code for the factory that the bag was made in. And there is some information out there on the internet about what the different codes might mean as, as in terms of like which factory has each code. But I find that the information is very conflicting and I haven't gotten any straight answers on this topic from anyone that really knows about it. So I just don't wanna give you any information that I can't stand by. I will say it's not the most important th thing for learning about your bag or authenticating it. Of course, it can be very useful if you, for example, you see that the tag in the bag says made in Vietnam, but the number on the creed shows a product uh, place code for a factory in the Philippines, then that doesn't make any sense. But it's not a, a crucial part of authenticating the bag. And maybe one day we'll have more knowledge about it. You might even be able to find someone who knows more about it than me out there somewhere. I just happen to not know about that specific part right now. If I ever get some more solid information about it, I'll make sure to do a little edit in my blog and add the information there. And now to the final part of the number, which is the number after the dash, which is of course the style number of the bag. And it is exactly what it's called. It shows you what the style of the bag is. So that means that every bag that is the same style with the same color and same features will have the same style number inside. But please be aware that that means that two different bags, two different colors can have the same style number, but you could also have the same model bag, but where one has maybe a different detail on it, like a whip stitch handle or a partial snake skin or some other detail that makes it slightly different and therefore it might have a different style number. Even though the model of the bag is the same, it might not be the same style. For example, you'll see the style number 38124 is for the classic Coach Rogue 31, but you will see loads of different style numbers on Rogue 31s because there are so many different styles of that specific model. Now, the information I've given you so far is pretty good to go after, but there are some exceptions to the rules. First of all, while the style number is usually all numbers or potentially has a C in front of it in some of the newer bags, there are some older bags where you will find an F in front of it. This is perfectly normal. This means that the bag was specifically made for the Coach outlet store. F is for factory outlet. And that is all that means. It simply just means that that specific model was produced for the outlet store and that specific bag was produced for the outlet store. Now, once in a while, very rarely, you might also find a bag that has a P on the Creed patch. And this supposedly is a P for pilot, which means that it's a pilot bag. And that means that it was part of an initial run of a new bag. So you could potentially have like the prototype of a bag, like the very first one made. 
You don't see this that often though, I will say. And I think it's something they did a while ago and I have not seen them do it recently. So you might get very lucky if you find one. And now this brings me to another exciting thing you could run into, like I mentioned before, is the coach sample bags. Sometimes you have a bag that just don't have a number in it at all. But other times you have a bag where on the Crete patch where the number would have been, you have all zeros or where the style number is zeros. Uh, sometimes the first part is actual uh, letters and numbers. I'll put a picture on the screen of a Cree patch that looked like this here as well as you can see. So yeah, these bags are usually coach sample bags and these can be super, super special. They can be super rare. Sometimes not a lot were made. Other times they're just bags that happen to be the, the earliest ones produced, but there are actually loads of them out there. If you want to know more about this topic and how to recognize them and what some of the features of them are and like also sometimes what makes them special, I have a whole video on coach sample bags that I will put a little thing on the screen here so you can tap that link for later if you want. I will also leave a link to it in the description of this video. So lots of good information in that video as well. And it's actually quite exciting with these bags. You can get some really cool and unique bags. And now there is actually also an example to that rule because when you see the old zeros, it is not always a sample bag. I do know that a few years ago, Coach came out with the rogues that were crafted in the original responsible leather. And those rogues seem to be a kind of a limited edition run of rogues. And those actually all had zeros on their crate patch as well, instead of a style number. So when you see the all zeros, it is not always, always a sample bag. I also saw it in the super limited edition. Like I think they only made one of each in the Bonnie Cashin baseball glove uh, tote. And like these, rogues and the cash and totes those were actually available to buy through the coach shop as opposed to the sample bags so there is an exception there but just something to be aware of and then the last thing i'm going to bring up it's actually not a style number but it's something that is often confused with a style number and it is in some of the early rogues dinkies saddle bags outlaw satchel multiple different bags you will see a number on the creed patch that looks kind of like a style number but the format is slightly different and it is actually not a style number now, i'll show you what they look like so here's just a few examples because i won't bring up all of the ones there are but if you see the top one here is from a rogue an early edition rogue so what you see is rg that's for rogue and the number behind the dash is a generic number given to all the rogues produced at that time so that is not the style number of the bag. And you might go, well, how do I know what the style number of the bag is then, or when it was produced? Well, just like in the bags from 2014 to 2016, you can usually find a little white tag inside the zip pocket of the bag. And on that one, you will find the whole code of numbers with the date code and the style number of the bag. And again, with the DK, that's for dinky, the SD is for saddle and so on and so on. So you will see this in a lot of bags usually from around 2016 is where you see it the most. And then you'll see in the later rogues, for example, that they change over to the normal Creed patch and they don't have this number on them anymore. So if you see that in the bag, don't worry. That is not the style number of the bag. It is just a generic model number for that time. So just to sum up the exceptions, you might see an F in front of the style number. You might have a P somewhere. You might find all zeros on your creed and you might find a number that is not actually a style number. Finally, you might be thinking, how can I authenticate a bag with the serial style number? And I hate to break it to you, but you can't. On my blog post about this topic, I have literally hundreds of people writing comments saying this is the number of my bag is a real or fake and i i can't even respond to all of them but the matter of fact is you cannot authenticate the bag purely based on that number it can be a help and you can learn a lot of stuff about your bag but you cannot authenticate a bag purely with that number i cannot say this enough what you can do though is use the information you get and compare that to what a genuine bag should have and it can actually be very helpful for example if you know what year that bag was manufactured, you can look up the model and see what years that model was in production for. So for example, if the creed denotes uh, that the bag was created in 2014, for example, but you Google the model and you find out that that model wasn't actually put into production until 2020, then that's a pretty good sign that you have a fake bag. So that in that way you can use it, but a lot of the time the numbers, even in fakes, will be accurate for what there was, would be in a bag like that. So you can't go all by it. Like a lot of times the numbers will be absolutely right, but that does not mean that the bag is not fake. You have to look at so many other things. 
But another thing you can also use this number for is you can take the style number and find out whether that is actually the number that's supposed to be in that model of bag or that style of bag. Um, and the best way to do that is actually just to go to Google, go write coach, put in the style number and then tap search. And most likely what will come up with will be a lot of pictures of that exact style of bag. If you see that, then that's a good sign that it is the accurate style number in your bag. If you put in coach and that style number and absolutely nothing comes up, could be that it's just not very well known, but it could also be that it's just not accurate. Most of all, I'll say if you put in coach and the style number and loads of pictures of a different model come up, then you know you have a problem where it's very unlikely to be the real number or the right number for that specific bag. So in that way, the number can help you authenticate a bag, but you just cannot authenticate it purely from the number. There are so many other things to look at and I will do a video on how to authenticate a coach bag, trying to bring as much information as absolutely possible, which of course will be posted on this channel. So again, make sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on that one. Another little thing that you can also use the numbers for is if you get a bag that still has the tag on it, you will usually have the style number of the bag on that little tag. So check that the style number on the tag matches the style number on the Creed patch, because I have seen a few fakes where it was actually a bag with tags on it, looked pretty real. There were some other things that showed that it was a fake, but most of all, it was a dead giveaway that the style number on the tag of the bag did not match the style number on the Creed patch. And one of the numbers was the number of a completely different model. So that made absolutely no sense and was just a, uh, a clear indicator that something's up with this bag. So that is everything for now. I hope that this video was helpful. The most important thing is please be aware that even though the number can be super helpful and can even help with authentication, it cannot make up the entire authentication process. And especially in cases where you have a bag that for example has the all zeros creed, you can't depend on it at all and you will have to look at other factors. So please let me know in the comments what you think and make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Like I said, I am working on a coach authentication guide right now, which I'm hoping to get done very soon. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.